Hi, I'm Robert Hookman Jr. and I'm sitting here with Dan Saffer from uh, Adaptive Path, an interaction designer from Adaptive Path. Um, and is, uh, Dan is the author of Designing for Interaction. Uh, and today we're going to talk a little bit about that. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. Thank How you. you. Doing? Glad to be here. Good. Glad to be, glad to be upright here at uh, South by Southwest. <laughs> So. It's always a challenge. Always a challenge. Always a challenge. So yes. tell me about the panel that you're on this year. So I'm uh, doing a core conversation this year, which is new at South by Southwest and certainly new for me. It's uh, where you gather in a room and kind of talk with a whole bunch of hopefully uh, other smart people about a topic. And mine is all about creativity, sources of creativity, where, um, where is, as interaction designers we can uh, really steal good ideas from other disciplines like film or architecture or... Um, uh, nature, those kinds of things, because we talk a lot about methods and techniques and uh, design and uh, just in kind of as broad a sense, but we often don't talk about where those good ideas come from. So uh, I'm hoping that that's, uh, that I'll steal some good ideas from people about where they steal good ideas from. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. Where do you steal good ideas from? I still, uh, I, I have a, a site that I do uh, called No Ideas Button Things, and it's a collection of mechanical dashboards and controls and uh, those kinds of things like from old like battleships and and buses and subways and so I, I, I really like looking at, at different things about them like uh, like layout and and how the how they've done controls and how they how they set up things what the label is, is like for buttons and I really get into that kind of like old mechanical stuff because, I mean, a lot of the stuff that we do now, I mean, we do a lot of control panels and dashboards and, and, and those kinds of things. But, uh, you know, we're on the backs of 100 years of those things, and we should be able to steal good ideas from that kind of stuff. So That's a wonderful idea, actually. <clears throat> there are, I mean, yeah, essentially when it comes down to it, we're, we're designing the same types of interfaces that essentially do the same types of things that people have been doing for a long time. Yeah, I so mean... there's th a lot of ideas out there to be had. Yeah, there's definitely, I mean, there's there's a lot of things that can be stolen from them. Everything from, you know, form factor to, uh, you know, to, to down to, like, typography and stuff like that. That Like, ooh, that's a really nice font for this kind of display. Like, stuff, you know, everything from, you know, strategy, like, big composition. Like, oh, always put the levers here because it's easy reach to, you know, really, really small detail stuff. Right. So. Yeah, I think inspiration can be found in all kinds of places. Oh, whether yeah. Whether it's in nature, or whether it's a movie projector, a coffee maker, it doesn't matter. You can always, yeah. find, I mean, there's, always find something interesting. And there's a ton of things. Like, uh, one of my favorite stories is uh, Jeff Veen talking about uh, Google Analytics, where he uh, he woke, he was trying to figure out a way to display the, the data for Google Analytics. And he had this dream about uh, the Raiders of Lost Ark movies, mm -hmm. where Indy is traveling, right? yeah, where he's, you know, traveling through, uh, you know, the map and stuff. And he's like, that's how it should be displayed. And that's how it is. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a great, like, just complete ripoff. But, yeah, inspiration but, from, from theater. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so tell us about uh, designing, for, designing for Interaction. Designing for Interaction has been out about a year and a half now. And so it's been really well received. I, uh, I see a big uptick every year around school time, which is great because, uh, I, I have a lot of people now who come to me and be like, oh, you know, I used your book in, you know, in college in my intro class. And I, I just think that's great. Like, I really, like, I love that. Because that was basically the audience I really wrote it for, where, mm -hmm. you know, when I was teaching uh, undergrads, I was always having to cobble together, you know, four different books to put together one book that I wanted to teach from. And so now that my book is being used for that, it's really great. So I'm really happy about that's that. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's a nice um, it's a nice thing. Of course, now I you know now I, I'm sure you get this a lot. You know, I'm looking at my book and I'm like, wow, there's so much I would do differently now. <laughs> like, there's so much I want to redo. And yeah. so, uh, so you just got to write another book. <laughs> well, I, we're actually talking about coming out with a second edition sometime next year, or the year oh, after. So yeah, because there's a lot. Because people have come up to me and said, why isn't there this in there? And I think about it, I'm like. You're right. That definitely is. That's a missing piece, you know. And and getting back to the creativity thing, I think that's another missing piece. Like I kind of skip over it in the book. There's this kind of like magic moment where you go from this research to like all of a sudden you're wireframing in a book, and it's mm -hmm. like, well, there's something missing there. That's that, that's a big <laughs> where part. Where does that magic come Where's from? Where is that magic right, piece? Yeah. 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 There so. are definitely things I would change about my book if I could go back. Definitely. Yeah. So it's you know. But uh, but. 
what is tell us sort of the elevator pitch of, of designing for interaction what's what's the message the elevator pitch of designing for interaction is basically uh it's a way of uh oh, okay. we're, we're so, mics so we're mics so great uh the the, the elevator pitch is basically that it, it's for people who just might have heard of interaction design or they've just started uh being interaction designers in their company or they just need kind of an overview of the field like what is this thing so uh it's everything from uh from very like introductory like people who are just getting started to product managers who have to work with interaction designers or uh developers who have to uh, work with interaction designers like figuring out like what it is these people are doing and, or what should i be doing at this point so uh so I wrote it from, it's kind of a high level. I mean, there's a lot, there's there's a, a couple bits of like tactical things in there, but it was really meant to be kind of an overview that uh, was, you know, supplemented by uh, by more kind of, you know, if you ever want to actually learn interaction design, you have to do it through exercises and stuff like that, so. I hadn't, I hadn't actually thought about that on that, that type of audience, that aspect of the audience before. You know, maybe the, the project managers and stuff like that that are trying to, that are inheriting interaction designers are trying to figure out exactly how to work it in and, and make sense of all the noise out there because there's so much dispute right. over it's, exactly it's, what interaction what design is. is. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of, uh, that was definitely a secondary market that I didn't really even think of very much. When I was writing the book, I always assumed it was for students or beginning interaction designers, but... Mm -hmm. People have just been telling me, like, "Hey, I've been passing this off to, you know, I've been passing this off to my product, you know, my product manager, or whatever. Here's mm -hmm. here's what I do. You know, I've had a couple people say, like, I gave it to my mom. You know, like, <laughs> you know, my parents still have, you know, my parents still can't figure it out, but right. you know, I've done the same thing. I've given copies of my book to my family to try to explain yeah. to them this is what I do here's for what a living. I do, yeah. I try to make your life easier. So. That's right. That's right." Well, thank you so much for uh, for coming and talking. Sure, and, uh, sure, a pleasure. Take care. Pleasure. Enjoy the rest of South thank by you. Southwest. Thank you. Thank you.